Warning, read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. Dynamic dig is our version of our dig control. We developed dynamic dig specifically for, for pipe welders, downhill pipe welders. It gives pipe welders an optimum arc that allows them to adjust parameters that will allow them to make x-ray quality welds every time. On a pipeline project, every weld gets x-rayed. So when we step up to the plate, we gotta hit a home run every single time. We make a good clean weld, it's very productive, and uh, it, it, the puddle clarity is really high. You can see what you're doing, it's a lot better, it's a little bit smoother, it wets in better, and it, and it cuts just that much better. So we're back here in the welding lab. We've got the welding machine set up outside and uh, we've got some 24 inch 500 wall. We're gonna do some welding. So for this 24 inch, we're gonna start out just at the factory settings with our, our dig range set at 100 and our arc control right at zero. And uh, we'll make adjustments from there. So we are welding 24 inch 500 wall and we felt like we just wanted a little bit more drive. So we took our dig range up to 120 amps. That did a real good job for our root pass, gave us enough drive to penetrate and to, and to give us good root reinforcement. As we moved on to our hot fill and cap pass, we wanted to get just a little bit more clarity in our puddle, help clean the slag out and give us nice flowability with our, with our puddle. And we, we settled in right around uh, stiff 15 on our arc control. If we were going to weld some smaller pipe, like some 12 inch 250 wall or some 8 inch or 6 inch with an eighth inch bead rod, we would turn that dig range down, get a little bit less, less drive and uh, run that eighth inch bead rod a little bit smoother, not, not so much force. And then we would probably turn that arc control down to about zero or maybe even soft five. Yeah. And some indicators that you're going to be looking for that's going to let you know whether or not you need to come up or down is what does that, the back side of your uh, root pass look, look like? So for this smaller pipe, you know, your window is going to be between 50 and 100, more than likely. 75 is a good, good starting point. Uh, and as you're, as you're reading your puddle, while you're filling and capping, depending on what you see, you know, if, if, you're, if your puddle's kind of drooping a little bit, having a hard time cleaning that slag out, if you increase that arc control up, it'll help clean that out, help stiffen things up. If you'd like to soften it up, slow that response down, you bring that down towards the soft side and that'll get you where you want to go. It's all just on, on what you see while you're welding. All right, so we've talked about, you know, some smaller pipe, six inch, two inch. What about bigger pipe, you know, above 24 inch, 36, maybe some 42? Where do we want to set our machine uh, for, that, for those sizes? Yeah, so 36 inch, 42 inch, the harder pipe, heavier wall, you know, we'd want to run that dig range up to about the 130, 140, 150 range. And uh, I'd put that arc control probably stiff 15, stiff 20, somewhere in that range, that'll work really well for you. Yeah, that'll give you, give you plenty of puddle control, be able to carry metal, plenty of metal, and, and get you where you want to be.